we're going to talk about output. Computer have four components. That's CPU, memory, input, and output. CPU, fast enough. Memory, big enough. Input, lots of improvement. Output, lots of improvement. Output device, the typical output device is your monitor. Here we have a picture talking about this new Apple monitor. The monitor, we are talking about the size and the pixels. The size, you understand. The pixel is per square inch, how many dots you have, million dots. Like this one they show you, they can have 16.7 million colors. Many, many colors, many, many pictures. If you're talking about high resolution, that's meaning you have more pixel. Per square inch, you have more dots, make it more clearer. We all want to have a clear monitor. Then you need to have a higher pixel. You need to pay more money. Size used to be small. Now you got options. You can make a monitor very, very small. You can make a monitor very, very big. You want to watch football games, play computer games. You may want to have a wide screen. That's the size can match to your movie screen. Computer screen used to be more rectangle, but a square, but movies used to be more rectangle. Now the computer screen has trying to match in the movie screen. You can view a movie more like theater functions. Depends on what you want. Monitor technology. Talking about pixel, how many dots per square inch do you have? We're talking about millions of dots. The size, rectangle, square, resolution, high resolution, low resolution. Even you are using your mobile phone to view a video under YouTube, you can change the resolution. They typically tell you that's 360, that's a default. You can change to 720, make it much more clearer. What's the difference between 360 and 720 in addition to more clearer, more bandwidth? Your mobile phone you are using to view a video under YouTube. If you use 360, that's, the quality is not that good. Resolution is kind of low. You make 720. Quality is much better. Resolution is high. But you're going to use more bandwidth. If you don't have such a bandwidth, they may freeze up on your viewing. So that's resolution. And with the iPhone 11, they can even have a higher resolution to 1080. It's not 360. It's not 720. It's 1080. I have used this iPhone 11 Pro to recall a lecture. The quality is 1080. It's much better than other recording device. Talking about aspect ratio, ratio 16.9 ratio, the most typical. So that's your width and your height. As I mentioned, if you have a width and height, which it can more accommodate to a movie theater's screen that may be better if you want to use to view movies. Responsible time is a million second, means less than one million uh, milliseconds here. You chop off a second to one million portion, the less than one portion. This one tells you your screen is not like always there. Say they may from left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left, but very fast, very fast here. Fool your eyes. Your eyes think, hey, it's always there. It's not always there. So they, they need to move very, very fast to show you. Pretty much like a anime. Animation movies, you go to a theater, you watch the anime, 
animation movies, you thinking that's contiguous, continuing movie. No, it's not continuing movement. In one second, they shoot at least 24 frames to fool your eyes. Your eyes look like, hey, it's contiguous, continuing movement. It's not. Same idea to this responsible time. The contrast ratio, you can make a contrast that's easier for you to view. Black and white, higher resolution. <coughs> the contrast ra ratio here. Viewing angle here, you can tilt. Most computer you can tilt, tilt away from you, toward you, uh, for your better movement. Terms of monitor, it's called flat panel. Okay, that's a flat panel here. Monitor are thin. Um, you, you probably want to say, hey, flat panel comparing to what? Comparing to non-flat panel. So what's non-flat panel? That's a long time ago. Long time ago, your monitor is thicker, much thicker. Today, it's very really thin. That's technology hardware improvement. So today, you see, uh, I'm going to buy a notebook, but I wanted the monitor to be flat panel. You don't need to say that. They don't have that old conventional type non-flat panel monitor to sell it to you. They don't. LCD monitor, talking about LCD or LED, that's different technology. Talking about that's the light source. We all know nowadays you have new light bulb. It's LED or LCD. Um, LCD is the old type, LED is newer type. Newer type here, um, computer screen, they have some light, lighting source. Um, and people sometimes they don't turn on their light, ceiling fan light or uh, uh, your, your roof light here. They just use the computer light, monitor light to view it here. That lighting may not be good enough. Video card here. Video card that's called image. Your computer is a multi-media device. They have audio, the sound. They have video, you're viewing. If you play with the computer games, you may want to have a better video card, showing more colors, bright colors, vivid colors. That's what you want to see. Say GPU, graphic processing unit. It's not CPU, it's GPU to process. Normally, if you're not playing with the computer games, then you're not going to be asking that much for your video quality. But if you are, then you need to have a different type or a better uh, graphic card. They're talking about your M uh, NVIDIA. And AMD are popular with the GPU manufacturer. Connectors. Video card can connect to TV. Today we are trying to connect like your mobile phone to your uh, tablet and to your TV, your smart TV, and to your notebook or your desktop. We're trying to com com uh, combine them. This is a sharing idea if you have a picture which is stored in your phone you want to see it in your smart tv hey can you can you do that of course you can do that you build up a family album um, under your mobile phone you, you want to show all the family members using a big screen tv smart tv can you do it yes you can do it then they need to have a connection. Like Bluetooth connection, so wirelessly, like a software, so they can communicate, you can use it. After we talk about video function, we'll talk that for your eyes, we're gonna talk about sound system, that's for your ear. Speakers, of course. The size of a speaker are getting smaller and smaller, and the quality are getting better and better, and the price are also getting lower and lower. Good news, huh? 
Yeah, I'll say so. It's good news. Surround sound. Long time ago, uh, the cool thing was you carry a big, re um, big radio video radio cassette. Uh, system, yeah, you carry you call boom box, you walk down the street. That was cool. Today is not that cool. Today is a speaker. Speaker is going to be very small, tiny, but it can generate lots of volume. That's your speaker. The sound car. If you want to compose some kind of music, you can get yourself a good sound car here because in this case, the sound is important to you. You can tell the difference. Um, computer can be used to compose music. You sing a tune, there are apps help you to find the song of that tune. You want to compose music, you sing a tune, computer can mm, write it down for you. Um, it's a good idea if you want to compose some sound, you want to do a search to see it's my new sound, pretty much similar to a existing sound. If that's the case, a song for copyright is 50 years, then people are going to sue you for copyright infringement in case your song sell. Otherwise, people just ignore you. That is one thing you're figuring out 70s, 80s, even 90s, people were making some catching sound. So, oh, this song is so catching. I listen for one and two times. I can sing a little bit. Nowadays, probably not. Say, oh, this is a very popular song here. You listen for 10 times. You want you to turn it off and sing a little bit. You say, I cannot. It's not catching. Are we run out of talents here? Uh, not really, but we are making some music we need to try to let this piece of music not similar to an existing piece of music. That's very difficult. It's getting difficult and difficult. So the old song maybe sounds better. <laughs> the new composer, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to make a, a new type of music or a song which is not similar, significant difference to every, everyone. It's difficult. Yeah. That's a song car here. You have a good song car here. You have better audio quality. Printer. Whoa. The printer, typically, we have two types of printer. One is high speed, black and white. You use in school or classroom, we have one black and white, very, very fast speed. You go home, you have yourself a printer. There'll be color printer, there'll be slow, speed. Serve different purpose. One for school, one for home. That's the printer technology. Printer technology, talking about image quality, we use the measurement called DPI, dots per inch. That's per square inch. In a square inch, how many dots you have? The more dots you have, the higher resolution you got. So that's a DPI. For example, 600 DPI, mm. or 300 DPI, 600, 300, which one will have a better quality? 600 is much more clear. How about comparing to 1200? 1200. Of course, they have much better quality. Depends on what you want. Laser printer typically have good quality. And the, the magic, the shooting ink printer, that's a different type of printer. They have not as good as a laser printer in terms of the quality. The, the clearer of the image, the solid of the image, you can change your setting. For instance, the printer quality is normal print, or you need to have a better 
and paper type, of course, you have different type, paper size, uh, portrait, or landscape, print on both sides, yes or no. That's your printer, you can do that kind of change. Um, nowadays, printer can be wirelessly, remotely used, like me, I can use my office printer to print something in a, a common printer, in a printer room. I can do that via the internet. My printing file will go via the internet, go there and get it printed. Then I can go there and pick it up. So that's possible. Speed, page per minute. How many page can the printer print per minute? Sometimes we have this uh, uh, pros and cons. A printer can print very, very fast. Can Typically, they are not color printer. Or well, I have used some printer that can print very, very fast. Uh, the printer is kind of a big. It's like your freezer size. Um, they even have a chimney going up, go to outside, because it generates lots of heat. Once you print out a deck of paper, um, you use your hand touch and you feel it, it's warm, it's real warm. So that type of printer, that is for a training center. They want to print out some training document. Then they need to use that kind of a printer. It's more like a professional printer. I publish books. I know that some publisher, they use a printer to publish your book. It's not like a book printing machine. It's just a printer. In a file, just a PDF file. I use a DOC, Word file, and I give to the printing shop. The editor changed to a PDF file. Then the PDF file use a printer to print the book. So it's very simple procedure here. Now, if you think about why use the word and the editor using a PDF format? What's the difference? One difference is the PDF, what you see is what you get. The word is not. You may have some hidden character. You don't see it, you print it out. Hey, here comes some special character. That's not what we want. In this case, if you want to print out something like a book, they're going to use the PDF. They're not going to use the word. But use the word is easier for me. So I use the word, they change to a PDF. Yeah, duplexing here. That's double size. You want to print out double size, single size. They can change the size very, very fast. Like the big printer I mentioned, they print out two size at the same time. They don't like change. They, they, like, they have two size printed at the same time. It's not like they print this side and come back and turn it outside. They don't do that. They print at the same time, very, very fast. Material. Talking about printers, about books. One time I have a chance to talk to the CEO of a big, famous publisher. I asked the gentleman that, are we going to see the soft copy books replace the hard copy books. His reply was, no, we're going to see both the hard copy books and soft copy books coexist for a long time. So the way I publish my book in a hard copy format and gave it to the library, later on library may scan or use different technology to make a soft copy. I also have soft copy in my computer. I have my own website. I post it there. In this case, my book have hard copy kept by library and my book have soft copy under the internet. You can see it in view in two way. I think I kind of agree with the CEO. He's saying, Coexist. I'm using both. Why am I using both? 
some of the readers, including me, myself, author is a reader to his or her own books. I like both. So what's the difference? The difference of hard copy and soft copy is soft copy, I can do the search. It's very easy for me. But when I don't want to do the search, hard copy is easier for my eyes. And I mean, it's easier, it's faster even. I open the page one, I glance over, page two, glance over. Instead of a soft copy, I need to scrolling down, scrolling down, I keep scrolling down. So which one is better? Or if you want to read your book for one hour, which one's easier to your eye, to your hands? Hard copy is easier. Type of different printers, dot matrix printer. I don't think you can see the dot matrix printer anymore. That's an old type of printer we use, dot matrix. And the old, the very old printer for a computer printer, like IBM printer, they even print out in the color format, the paper, the, the paper that will be white and green, white and green, white and green. And the edge of the paper, they have some uh, tiny uh, red holes there. Then they print out dot matrix, dot, many, many dots. You can still read it. You understand what's that. Um, that's the old technology. It's not solid. Like if they print out an A, it's not really like A, it's a dot, 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 And here, the, this vertical bar is dot, 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 with many, many dots here. You can read it. That's old technology. Save some ink, and it's easier. But today, we don't need it. Inkjet printer, that's at home. At home, you may have an inkjet printer. That's color printer. Color, they are using different color called blue, red, and let me see here. And they have a magenta print, a color here, a magenta color here. And those three colors and the black colors, they combine, four colors they combine. They make all the different colors. If you run out of uh, your yellow, uh, colors, ink, then it's not going to look that good. If you only have black ink, that's black and white printer. Otherwise, you need to have the blue, red, and magenta. Three different colors printer. They combine, combine different percentage, make all the different colors. Laser printer, that's your black and white printer, but the speed is very fast. Classroom have this kind of printer, office have this kind of printer, your home printer, if you want to print out some color stuff here, the speed is not a concern. You may want to have an inkjet printer, which we said that you can print out a color print out. Can you print out a black and white print out? Of course you can. One, they typically they have two cartridge. One is black and one is yellow, red, and magenta. So if you only want to play, uh, print out black, the only the black ink cartridge will be used. If you want to print a color one, both cartridge will be used. A color one, they still need the black color to make a solid. That's laser printer for office. Multifunction printers, the printer can also be used as a scanner, make a copy. And the printer can also be used as a fax machine. People fax you, you fax them back. They have other, the, the die uh, submission printer. They are different printer. They can use for other material, like a plastic or other material, not necessarily a paper only. They even have a 3D printer. Yeah, school have a 3D printer. They are, um, for gaming students, you create a character using a computer. That's a 3D character. We can see it. We can render it. We can rota rotate the character you have created. We can use your computer and print it in a 
3D printer. The 3D printer may take some time to print it. That's a 3D printer. How long will it take? A lot of time. You create a character, a simple character, may take four hours, eight, eight hours. You create a real fancy character, may print out two days, three days. What does this tell us? Tells us 3D printer is good, but the speed is the room for improvement. Say I have a gaming student, create, create a character, that's his copyright. And he can sell this new character to people. If we are using a 3D printer, you want to sell this, you need to have mass production. Should each one take you three days to print it out? Whoa, 30 days you can only print out 10. And lots of people want to buy it. How, how you are going to supply that demand? You cannot. How are you going to make money? You cannot. You're going to lose money. Three days with all the ink, with the 3D printer being used, you only create one character. That costs you a lot. So that's what we see. Later on, should the speed of a 3D printer be improved significantly? That will be the time for we to use for business. Right now, the 3D printer is not used for business, mass production. It's used for prototype. We have one, I saw it in the computer, I really want to see a real one, yeah. Use the 3D printer, hey, you see a real one, you can, you can hold on to it. So that's cool. That's a 3D printer. Other output device, digital projector. You have digital projector. You can use your hand to write something. You can to the next page. You can erase some button for you to press. That's good for you to do a digital pr uh, projector to do a presentation. It's very, very good. They have different technology here. This one, it's like a simulation. You see the two pilots. They are flying. You see the land, the sky, look like not real. Because it's the training. That's a simulation. Gaming, simulation, animation. They are under the same umbrella. A big family. A gaming student may also know how to do a simulation or a movie animation. So that's the idea. Thinking about the cost of the L plan, the cost of the training and the life, which is valuable, the pilot's life, and not to mention our passenger's life. We definitely want to use the simulation tools to train the pilot. Nowadays, if we engage some kind of war in some area, we also using a simulator to train the soldiers of that specific, specific environment before we send the soldiers to that environment. That's a simulation. Simulation is not real but give you a chance to play with it. I have visited American Airlines. I have tried to use this simulation um, software and try to take off and try to land the airplane for my case. Yeah, I successfully took off the airplane, but when the time for landing, I crashed. <laughs> that's typical, not typical. It's landing is more difficult. Taking off is much easier. So if you ask a pilot, they will tell you that. <laughs> Take, taking off is nothing. Landing, landing is the time to really make you 
a uh, focus in me would say scary. Yeah, so that's the thing. The simulation. Hmm. Simulation consider this like a output device to us. That's an input output. It's a simulator, uh, entire system. Well, terms. So we basically finish the output device to us. Remember, we have a lighted terminal, a keyboard. With the lighted keyboard, we don't really have a real keyboard. It's just some light. Uh, you can put that light to let it light it up. The desk, then you your hand just touch down light position. Can we also have a light monitor? I'm going to bring a small device, like a secret, secret size, and put it there with two light, one shooting to the table. That's my keyboard. One shooting to the wall. That's my monitor. Would that work? Can technology do that? Yes. Nowadays, technology can do that for you. Then in this case, your keyboard can be a normal size keyboard. Um, also, your monitor, the size of your screen, can be big. Hey, that may be the future of one type of input and output. That's all. Pay attention. See the technology progress here. I would like to share this with you.